We're gathered here together in this beautiful setting to witness the marriage vows between Morgan Jane Henserling and Jonathan Thomas. have a role to play, all of us, to lovingly hold them accountable to the vows that they make to one another before God. It is a beautiful setting. You need to take time to soak it all in. You need to come out here and look at what it looks like on the outside. Behind me there's a cross, and I think that's perfect because you see right through this couple and you should look to the cross. Hopefully their marriage will model that, model the gospel. Genesis 2.13 says, Then the Lord said, It's not good that a man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. Genesis 2.24 and 25, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. And that's what I desire for you, the oneness. And in the cross, we find this. Jesus Christ demonstrated his love for you in that while you were yet a sinner, Christ died for you and you chose to receive him as your substitute for your sin. So that means whatever you face, whatever it is, you can overcome it because God gives you the power, because Christ lives within you. That's glorious. That is the mystery of marriage. God, we love you. We thank you for bringing us together for this joyous occasion of this wedding in this setting. It's just amazing. Yet we realize, Lord, that without your help, we labor in vain. And so I, I ask your blessing on this particular ceremony and what it means. I pray that you would encourage all of our hearts as we reflect on the meaning and purpose of marriage and what you intend to do through this new couple. In Jesus' name, amen. God, we love you. God, we need you. Pray your blessing on Jonathan and Morgan as they take these principles and put them into action. Holy Spirit, thank you for residing within them. Thank you for their love for you and their desire to follow you. And bless them now, Father, as they make these commitments to one another before you and in front of all these witnesses. In Jesus' name, amen. Jonathan, you may now kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Irwin.
the bride and groom uh, would like to like to invite you to join them for dinner at Lazy Goat in downtown Greenville. Hors d'oeuvres start at 6.15 and we'll see you for dinner. was the first time I think I heard of Jonathan was um, when <laughs> he was helping with the youth and uh, Morgan happened to be in the youth group. Suzette was, hey dad, you know, there's this guy, Jonathan, and and he has all of these qualities that I've been looking for. And um, I'm just praying that he would he would one day give me a young man like that. Um, even helping out in youth group, Morgan, yeah, Morgan would be like, he's so sweet. I need someone just like him. It's all in boxes. And his name probably was even in that book, to be honest. <laughs> he was just goofy. He had that goofy laugh. He was telling dad jokes, and somehow she thinks it's funny. Morgan, I'm so excited for you, and I love you so much. And I'm so excited what God has done for you guys. And so, yeah. You taught me, like, how to like help mom and how to be helpful and everything. I'm thankful for that.